We are all athletic training students at a clinical site off campus and we were all at a preseason um, football practice. As a uh, football player was running to make a tackle, I noticed that his head was down and I heard a loud knock. The athlete went unconscious and was, uh, was found in lying in a decerebrate position. Trevor and I, we were first on the scene. We noticed he was unconscious and we called over the head athletic trainers and from there we were checking on the athlete. We all had different roles that we played. Mine particularly was to check the peripheral pulse to make sure that um, blood flow was circulating throughout the body, not just to the central organs, but also to the distal extremities. I was responsible for meeting EMS when they arrived and I kind of gave them the breakdown of what was happening with our situation and what they were potentially dealing with. As first on scene, I was responsible for stabilizing the neck and uh, making sure that the athlete was conscious and could hear what we were saying until the athletic trainers came over and they took over from there. I was taking care of another uh, athlete on the sideline that was opposite of the collision. The first thing that I heard was almost the terror in the other players' voices when they were calling for trainer, trainer, trainer. So I turned from what I was doing immediately thinking it was probably just a minor injury. But once I got closer, I realized the severity of what had happened. And immediately it was like a, a, a switch flipped in my mind. Um, and you just kind of go into that automatic, um, trust your instincts, trust what you know, what you've been taught, um, and do what's asked of you. I just remember thinking it was really surreal because we practice these scenarios all the time in class. And Trevor and I, we shared a look to each other of, oh my gosh, this is real life. We're not in class anymore. But I also felt extremely calm, like I knew what to do and how to do it properly. I wasn't anxious or scared like I thought I would act in those situations. I really didn't think I felt anything. I knew how to react to the situation. I felt confident about handling the situation once it happened. We were taught this through our education at Manchester and it almost made it feel like it was n not so surprising that it happened and that we couldn't take care of the situation ourselves. I was in kind of what I would call um, an athletic trainer's game mode. I was ready to do what is necessary to be done. Um, I don't think it was until the drive home the next day after the scrimmage that it the, really hit me of um, what had happened and how this athlete's life had changed and how we had affected this athlete's life. I just remember constantly going over the scenario in my head thinking what I did well, what I could have done better. I was still in a very student mindset as to like how I can improve when I'm certified, how can I be better? But honestly, like I felt proud of me and my classmates. Like I thought we handled it very well. Due to my education at Manchester University, uh, this situation almost didn't feel like I was had to sit there and think of what to do. It was almost like I reacted immediately and that's that's what they instilled in me and that's how they told us to react to certain situations like this because it could be life-threatening. There's a lot more that goes on behind the scenes in athletic training. Like people think of sports and they think of celebrating and excitement and stuff like that. But without those athletic trainers there, if something bad goes wrong, it's important that people who are educated and trained and know how to handle those situations are there and are present and can take over. Being in a situation just makes you realize and appreciate how much our professors are um, instilling in us both knowledge and um, practical experience. Manchester University's Masters of Athletic Training program has taught me to think on my feet, to be creative. It's a lot of work, but it's really rewarding.